friends, welcome back to part two of my front porch makeover. Here is where we left off from my last video. And I know you guys are just as excited as I am to see how this all turns out. So today is the day we are going to be finishing up the front porch. But I wanted to quickly show you guys some of the things that I picked up. These are from Walmart. I thought they would be really pretty in front of the front door. And then I have some of my terracotta pots and just some planters that I'm going to use on my little gardening area or station, which you guys actually let me know the correct term is a potting table. So we're going to say potting table. This is what we're going to use for the potting table. And then we just got back from Walmart to pick up our florals and our herbs. So we are going to go ahead and repot these now. My kids have the day off from school and they are getting ready to start their spring break. So my daughter was so excited to get started helping me with these projects for today. We went ahead and started the gardening table and painting the shelf for that and she is absolutely covered in paint but you know what i was so grateful to have her help and to spend some time with her today she was so excited to do all of this with me she said she loved the girl time and i always appreciate her willingness to help to start by the front door using these planters that I picked up from Walmart. I love the stand and the height that it adds by the front door. Ferns are a staple around here all throughout the spring and into the fall months and they always do really well here on my front porch. And since I painted the front door blue I wanted to add some pops of yellow in here as well so we're actually keeping it very simple by the front door this year because I really want my potting table to be the star of the show but I'm gonna finish bouncing out the other side of the door and then I wanted to layer some mats here I picked up this bottom one from Dollar General I believe it was only $12 and then the bunny one that I'm gonna put on top I picked up from at home this is my favorite I have been so excited to use this one it's a little smaller than I would usually choose but it is so precious for the spring and I am going to get as much use out of it as I can 
So the ferns that I usually hang up in front of these windows always <laughs> just get bombarded with birds and nests and although they're really sweet it just makes a big mess and then we can't get out here because the birds kind of just dive bomb your head because their babies are in there and I totally get it but they're just so full and they add so much protection for the birds. I understand why they always just draw to them but I have tried multiple methods um, the previous years I've used skewers and that helps but we get those little bitty finch birds so they seem to always find their way in so I decided to go with asparagus ferns I think they're really pretty and wispy and they don't add quite as much coverage for the birds so I'm wondering how well they're gonna do but I'll keep you guys updated on that and now I'm going to go ahead and set my shelf up on my desk. I was so excited to get decorating this, but it is going to have to wait until the morning because it's starting to get really dark outside. I have bumped up my camera as much as I possibly can, and I don't want the footage to get too grainy. So I am just going to get this where I want it, and then we're going to get started on the decorating. So I'm going to add a couple of final touches underneath the desk and then I wanted to add some spring pillows to the bench. Again, we're just keeping it really simple here on the porch this year compared to my normal explosion of florals on the porch, but I'm really happy with how everything has turned out. And then I'm going to show you guys a full view of how my front porch makeover turned out for spring.
I am absolutely loving all of the changes we made for spring from staining the concrete to the beautiful blue front door. And then painting the shutters has really made such a nice subtle change but that was also much needed. And then creating the potting table was so much fun. It was definitely a process, but I love how it turned out. I'm still wondering if I should put some backing on that shelf and just have it completely white versus see-through. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts on that. And I love how it filled out this space and the window doesn't look so offset now. It actually has like a functioning purpose and then it's also cute to decorate too, so <laughs> I'm really excited to see how this is gonna change throughout the seasons. Thank you guys so much for watching along. I hope that you enjoyed the video as much as I did. I enjoy creating these videos and creating beautiful spaces for my home. And my hope is always to give you guys some inspiration and ideas for your own homes and also in hopes that I can be some sort of encouragement for your day. And thank you all so much for your feedback on part one of my spring front porch makeover. That literally blew me away. I was not expecting so much love on that video, being that it wasn't a decorating video, I know. That part is not as much fun as the decorating process. But you guys were all so sweet and encouraging. I appreciate you all so much, more than you know. And I am also so excited to have some new subscribers join our YouTube family. Thank you all for being here and watching along. But I appreciate you all so much. I hope that you all have a wonderful Easter with your families and celebrating Jesus. And I look forward to catching you all again really soon in the next one. Bye, friends.